Welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. I'm Sean, the owner, and on this episode, we're gonna be building the first year ever built Dyno VFR. That's right, a 1989 Dyno VFR. I've got the frame, forks, and a few small parts that we're gonna take off and go to powder coating, and I'm gonna take you along with me, share with you who I use to powder coat my bikes, and kind of show you a little bit of that process. So let me show you the bike, then we'll jump in the car and head over to powder coat. Okay, this 1989 Dyno VFR frame and fork was found on eBay, and my inspiration for this build is the Dyno UL. So I already have a Dyno UL plate. I got the Dyno pads from Flight. I have a Dyno brake guard, an ODI mushroom bearing cup, and then I got these cool stop brake pads to match the aqua blue Skyway wheels. We're gonna be using a chrome seat post and chrome pro bars on this build. So what color do you think that bike's gonna be? I don't wanna tell you quite yet. I think we'll do a reveal on the color, but you tell me in the comments right now, what color do you think we're going with on this build? All right, let's get it in the car and head to powder coat. Okay, pulling up to the powder coater, I wanna tell you who they are. They are called Powder Coating AZ, and they're in the city of El Mirage, Arizona, and they are off El Mirage, north of Northern. And I'm gonna give you the address here. It's on Butler Drive, and we'll pull up in a minute. And they do great work. They do a lot of like bulk product work, but they've done really well on the bicycles. They don't do it too heavy to where you can't see any of the stamping or serial numbers or anything like that. So I'm real happy with them, real happy with their prices, which I'm gonna tell you, you should call and get quotes from them directly based on your projects. I bring them a lot of stuff. So maybe I get a different price, I don't know. I just, everything's a little bit different too. So sometimes I do frame and forks. Sometimes I do frame, fork, bar, seat post. Sometimes I do a lot of bike parts. So it all depends. My point is, give them a call, Powder Coating AZ, if you wanna use them or get a quote. Okay, we're back and we've got a lot of stuff that came in the mail. We're still waiting on powder coating to finish the bike and waiting on decals to come and a few other little parts. But I thought it'd be a good time to come out here to the shop and share with you what showed up in the mail and keep you updated on stuff that's coming in so we can do this build together. So let's check out what came in the mail yesterday. Okay, we're just gonna go over all these parts and share with you what we've got so far, starting with the Aqua Blue Skyway Tough 2 wheels. And I also added some white Comp 3 style knobby gum wall tires to them. And temporarily, we have some pink dice on there. But my buddy, Mr. Dice Guy on Instagram, sending me some dyno ones. Then we got chrome bars, chrome seat post, a dyno UL brake guard, dyno UL number plate, and Flight UL pads. You can get these at Flight along with donuts like this. They came from Flight. Then we're adding the Amy Waffle grips. And then we have a magenta pink brake cable. This is a GT Performer stem that I'm using, but we're getting the cap powder coated right now. A white and chrome chain. And so we come across, you see the seat post, the chrome guts the MX Lever MX-1000 rear die comp brake, but we added the blue Cool Stop brake pads. Suntour style seat post clamp, ODI mushroom bearing cap for the one piece cranks, the new Velo seat in white with chrome rails. It's gonna look really good. And then we have a Neptune power disc, and we dropped off two chain rings at Powder Coat that are coming back white because I didn't know which one I wanted to use on that. So currently that's where we're sitting on parts. Hopefully a lot more coming very soon. I'm waiting on pedals. I'm waiting on a couple other little small things, details. But I'll reveal those as soon as they come, when I get the bike, when I get the decals. I'll show you all that and then we'll do the build. 
Okay, I just got a call from Powder Coating AZ that the dyno is done. So it is a beautiful 105 degrees out here in Phoenix. And I'm gonna probably get this bike put together for you today. Okay, it's early the next day and we're out here in the shop because it's August in Phoenix and man, I gotta tell you, it's hot. So we try to come out in the shop early and get some work done. And by that, I mean today, you know we got the bike back from Powder Coat. So we're gonna try to build that bike this morning. I'm only waiting on decals. That's literally the last part to this puzzle and I think they're coming today. So we're gonna get started putting this bike together and hopefully by the time we're done, the decals are here and we can complete it for you. I'm not gonna post this video until this bike is 100% done. So stay tuned because at the end of this video, you will see the reveal of this amazing one-off Dyno VFR for Rad BMX builds and its color. If you like this type of content, now's your chance. Hit the subscribe button. Get some merch at radbmxbuilds.com slash merch. Let's get to building. Okay, quick little update. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and seated the bearing cups and the headset, and then I threw on the bars and stem. I'm gonna show you the stem. It is off of a 1987 GT, and I decided to re-powder coat the top of it because it was kind of banged up, but I think it's a good look on this bike. The bike is a 1989, so it is along the same era. It's not the exact same year, but you know I'm not a purist, but I did want to go with an old style stem on this bike. I didn't want to do a Repop GT mallet stem or anything like that, so there it is. Bearing cups are seated. Bearings on the headset are all done. The American bottom bracket, I decided to use a silver on there as well. The crank set sitting right here, and that'll go on momentarily. But I think next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the brakes. And for a brake lever, I have the old Die Comp MX. I love the two finger levers. I think that this combination is such a good combination. So we're gonna go ahead, mount that on the bike, and then I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, you can see we got the Die Comp MX lever set up on the handlebars with a magenta brake cable coming all the way back to the Die Comp MX 1000 side pull brake. Cool stock brake shoes to match the Aqua Skyway wheels. And then, thanks to my friend Wes, Mr. Dice Guy, for the end cap for the brake cable that also matches the valve stem cap on the wheels. Don't forget, we're going to add this dyno brake guard that basically attaches up under here and then will protect your leg and the bike from the brake and the moving components. So, we're going to now probably put on the seat post seat and seat post clamp so i think that's next okay we used a sun tour type seat post clamp a regular straight chrome seat post chrome guts on the seat and this is a velo race seat and it does have a subdued lightning bolt in there i don't know if you're going to see it in this lighting but very nice seat very clean looking all the chrome so so far we have the brakes bars stem and seat all set up on there. I think next we're gonna put some wheels on so we can get this off the ground and then we can go for the cranks and sprocket and pedals. 
All right, here it is, lightly mocked up, wheels are on it, and kind of get a little bit of the overall look. And next we're gonna move on to the crank set where we have a white chain ring, blue chain ring, bolts, a power disc. We're gonna run a one-piece crank. Really hard to find, a blue ODI mushroom bearing cap, a white and chrome chain, and some Welgo half-inch bear traps. That's going to be the powertrain that we're going to put on down here, and I think it's going to match real nice. Okay, so far I've had really no hiccups. The threading on the forks just took a little bit of grease and a little bit of muscle, but I seem to have restored those. Everything else went on without any issues, and the bike is about, I don't know, 85-90% there. But I wanted to give you an update. Now that the cranks and all that are on, let me show you. Okay, you can see that the one-piece cranks and power disc, chain ring, pedals, and the blue chain ring bolts are all on there. And I really like the color balance. A little sneak peek on the other side. You can see that the bearing cup is on there. So let me turn the bike around and show you that. All right, the very hard to find blue, it's kind of a lighter blue. ODI mushroom bearing cap. These are getting really hard to come by. They don't make them anymore. And I have quite the collection of them, but I find them on eBay every now and then. I found a lot of them years ago. Now they're just getting really hard to find, but loving the color balance of this so far. And I'm excited to get the accessories put on, but the bike's looking pretty sick. I'm really, really liking it. Now it's time to pull in some of the accessories like the grips, the brake guard, the chain, the pads, and one of the best things, the number plate. So gonna add a lot of color to the bike right now and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's on there. Okay, I think we've made some tremendous progress. This has been about an hour to build this bike. And the last step is the decals. Everything else is done. Should I make you wait? Do you wanna see it now? I think I'm gonna show it to you now without decals. Go to the mailbox, get the decals when the mailman comes, and then do maybe something a little more cinematic with the bike with the decals on there. So hang in there for the final reveal of the decals, but for now, let me show you what it looks like, naked essentially, without decals. I think it came out really good, check it out. So there it is, fingers crossed, decals will be here in about two hours, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. These are custom made one-off decals from my friend at Rebel Art Design in Malaysia. So shipping's a little different than if it were here in the continental US. So hopefully today, for you it's just gonna be a second. For me it may be a day or two, but let's see what it looks like with the decals on. Okay, and we're back. The decals are on the bike. Let's check it out. Okay, that's the Dino VFR build, but I got more builds coming. I got a Skyway on the way. If you like Skyways, 
Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also some upgrades to your old school BMX build or your new school BMX build using Repop Parts. Those videos coming very soon. If you want some merch, I got merch, hats, shirts, hoodies, and stickers, all kinds of stuff at radbmxbuilds.com. Now I hope you liked that build. As you can see, front and center in the shop, right where it belongs, right underneath the banner, perfect shop colors. I couldn't be more happy with it. So thanks again for watching, and as always, stay rad.